So it's been confirmed Qatar want the full takeover of Manchester United, not a minority stake. They want to buy the whole lot. But there's conflicting reports over whether the Glazers want to sell or not because they just want to keep rinsing money out of the club with some Glazer members saying, let's set this Qatar full sale and other Glazer members, Avi and Joel thinking all, oh, but maybe we could just get money in and keep the club for a bit longer. We'll get into that. We've also got news on Val Verkhoff being dropped already and Tenog not impressed with his recent performances. And Tenog has told three first team players they are likely not in future plans. So who are those players? Well, some of them might surprise you. Actually, only one of them will surprise you, really. Actually, maybe another one as well, actually. But we'll get into that. But let's, first of all, get into Qatar news. Start on the positive, then we'll go into the negatives. It's been said by Jamie Jackson, Qatar's interest in Manchester United is not about a minority share. They want the full takeover and control of the club. Qatar is about the full club or nothing. <coughs> There's a lot of conflicting reports that Qatar was going to be a minority share, and that's because there were reports that it was the QSI that owned PSG. This is a separate party to PSG. They want the full takeover of Manchester United. They believe they can put in a bid that can blow competition out of the water. They're serious about United. They want the full takeover. That's what's being reported. Now, A, this story could be lies because the Glazers could be trying to draw out more investment from other bidders and lying and doing this whole PR thing to their sources that Qatar and for United, they're going to put a mouth blowing bid in so they get no more money. Or B, this is because Qatar are really serious about United. They're going to put in a bid. They're going to do what they can to get United and they want the full sale. Now, it's reportedly the Altani <coughs> family in Qatar that want United. They believe that they can, you know, outbid everyone else. They want the club. They're serious about the club. They want to back to They have good plans for the club. We also know Jim Ratcliffe is in for United. He's working with two banks to try and maybe get the loans to make the deal work. We also know that the Saudi Arabian investors potentially interested and in two parties from the US. Now, the sources are indicating to us that really it's going to be a full sale of United because, you know, the Glazers are ready to like leave the debt with the club and all the offers are coming for the full sale. But I think deep down the Glazers probably do want a minority stake and we will get into that just because they want to have that power because they're freaks. But it was also said that there's four serious contenders have emerged ahead of the soft February 17th deadline and there are bids expected to exceed 5 billion. And it's basically been said the Glazers will sell if they can get bids above 5 billion and it's expected that that will be the case. Now, I don't know who's going to be bidding loads, but that's expected to be the case. Now, I want to get into what Joel and Avi, Avi Glazer have come out, what Joel and Avi Glazer have said. Um, well, they haven't actually said what's been said on Joel and Avi Glazer. They haven't said anything themselves of what's been said on Joel and Avi Glazer and their plan. But before I do that, I want to quickly talk about some of the players that are potentially getting dropped, some of the players that Tenol doesn't see in his plans, I'll talk a little bit about tomorrow's game, and then I'm going to get into some more news on Joel and Avi's plan. So it was said that Eric Tenol is considering ditching Valt their course for their they're a return league fixture against Leeds after another underwhelming performance. Now, this was said by The Sun. We always take things said by The Sun with a pinch of salt. But there are reports coming out that Tenog is ready to drop that of their course um, just because he's not been brilliant. And to be fair to Wout, he gets no service, but he's not like the kind of player United need. He's got no service. I think, you know, we're not creating service for him. And Rashford can, you know, be involved in the play without having to have direct service. Wout, their course is not that kind of player, which I think is why Ronaldo struggled as well under Tenog. Um, and it's annoying because as soon as that comes off the pitch, we start putting crosses and I think, fucking hell, you know, we don't know how to play with it. The rest of the team don't know how to play when he's on the pitch. But I don't think Valt's a bad player. I think he's holding up. I think he's been all right. I think he's been a bit unlucky in that sense. It was also said that Eric Tenog does not see Harry Maguire, Donny van der Beek and Martial as part of his long-term plans at United. And this is the second time some of this has come out. I understand why he doesn't see Harry Maguire in his long-term plans because he never plays him. Donny van der Beek surprised me a bit. I know that Donny hasn't played lots, he's been injured, but he's a 10 off player. But it's reported that he doesn't see Donny van der Beek in his long-term plans and Martial. Now, I know that Tenog likes Martial, thinks he's important, and when Martial's fit, likes to play Martial. But I think Tenog probably is fed up as we are of Martial always being injured. So the Martial and Donny one surprises me a little bit, but not a lot. I guess they're injured, they're unreliable, they haven't been good enough lately. And the Maguire one doesn't shock us at all. We know that he's not in Tenog's kind of plans. And they look to be three players that could be sold and offloaded in the summer, as Tenog does not see them as part of the future of United and what he's building. We also know that Tom and I could likely go in the summer. Uh, Dean Anderson, Teller, by 
um, you know, more money could be sold through that, potentially even Wan Bissaka. However, he's kind of grown on Tenog again. He originally wasn't in Tenog's plans. Just to say they aren't in Tenog's plans now doesn't mean that they might not be in future. They could come, you know, Donny could all of a sudden come back from injury early and play really, really well, or Martial could stay fit for the rest of the season and play really well, and then he's back in the plans. But as of now, that those three first team players are not in Tenog's plans for next season. But what are the ownership plans for next season? Because you know, we know that Qatar want the full takeover of Manchester United and there's been conflicting reports. Is it going to be a minority stake or a full takeover? And we know we do not want a minority stake. We do not want the Glazers still in charge. We do not want someone giving the Glazers money so they can stay at United longer. Because we know we've got the manager to make United succeed, but we know we don't have the ownership to do that. The fact that all our rivals are spending good in January and we're getting Valt Veghorst and Sabitzer on loan when everyone else is getting proper players after the brilliant job Ten Hag's doing. The fact that Ten Hag's have to compete with a squad this thin we know that we want new owners. We want owners that are ambitious and want to back Tenor because we know we've got the manager to do something special. So we know we do not want a minority stake. But Joe and Avram might want a minority stake is what's been reported just today, saying that multiple sources say that Joe and Avram Glazer have not ruled out the prospect of attracting a wealthy investor to help fund Manchester United's plans to upgrade Old Trafford and United's training grounds. It said the Glazer family is split on whether to carry through the sale of Manchester United if offers fall short of their valuation of at least five billion. And Joe and Avram are said to be more open to the idea of the family retaining control of the club by accepting a minority investment. Now this has come out from the Times. They did mention that five billion price tag and obviously the Telegraph are reporting that it's expected that the offers will be in excess of five billion. And I think if they do get an offer in excess of five billion, they will sell, they will do the full sale. I think the minority stake only happens if no one gives them the money that they want. Let's say the offers are all under four billion and they want over five billion. I think that's when the minority stake could happen. But they're basically saying that, you know, Joel, the Glazer family are split on what to do with United. Um, you know, some of them might want to sell, some of them might want a partial stake. I think realistically, we know the Glazers' intention has always been partial stake before anything because they've been looking for a partial stake for years. Now, I'm not too worried about the partial stake because I think that we, we know they've been looking for years for someone to come and invest and redevelop Old Trafford for them. And they haven't found that. And I think that's why they then announced the full sale because we know they've been looking for investors for a while. And I think, you know, if they were going to get investors to help with the money in Old Trafford, that might have happened earlier down the line. I don't know. Um, but we know that I think if they had an opportunity to get someone in with a minority state where they keep power of the club, I think they would. Unfortunately, I, I think they would, which is it's annoying. But you, you know what they're like as well. But, you know, it was also said the other day that because Ten Hag's doing well, they want to see if they, you know, they're tempted to stay at United to see if their value of the club will go up. Because Ten Hag's doing so well, the value of the club could go up because the value of the club goes up when Man United are playing well. Well, why don't you actually invest in that Ten Hag so then we play well and then the value of the club will go up? But they don't think like that. It was also said other relatives like Kevin, Brian, Darcy and Edward Glazer are said to be in favour of the full sale because of the financial gain. But also they've been hurt by the fan outcry against them. Well, big up to those Glazer family members. Basically, Joe and Abram agree that they want power. They want to milk Manchester United and make us fans hurt. The other Glazers are going, I cannot deal with the fan outcry. They don't want us here. It's not fun. I mean, we affect their businesses when we do our protests and attack them. They're like, no, let's get rid of the club. I'm done. Joe, Joe and Abby probably still hoping that someone's going to give them £2 billion to rebuild the stadium and give them all power. If you do that, you're a moron. I swear you are a moron. Uh, but it was also said potential bidders for Manchester United believe the club owners, uh, the Glazer family, are aiming to secure a partner, invest at Old Trafford rather than a full sale. So, you know, is am I worried about that report? Honestly, I'm not overly worried about that report because I think, you know, we're just getting conflicting news every single day. They want a full sale. They want a partial sale. They want a full sale. They want a partial sale every day from what we know is the team the confirmed parties in for united the confirmed four parties in for united have now confirmed they're going in for a full sale of manchester united not a partial stake i think if they were going to get a partial stake it would have happened a while ago i think they've been looking for a while potentially it could happen potentially the, the glazers would probably rather have that but i'm not too worried i feel like the club will be sold in my opinion i you know i'm, I'm not always right we know that but i feel like the full sale will happen and i hope the full sale happens because we, we, we just don't want the Glazers. And I think, you know, a lot of the parties interested are interested in the full sale. Qatar only want the full sale, not a stake. You know, what value is it to people who have a big stake in the club and, and no voting power, you know, and keep the Glazers here? It, it, it's, it's not really good for anyone. So although maybe the Glazers are looking, oh, can we get a big investor in to redevelop Old Trafford so we can stay here because Ten Hag's look at making them more successful and potentially the club's value could go up and we could milk on some more money, probably what the Glazers are thinking. But at the same time, you know, People want Man United, people are interested in the full sale. Reportedly, there's going to be offers of 5 billion, and if that's the case, 
the glazers would be stupid not to sell let me know your thoughts down below i'm sorry if the news is very conflicting i think there's so much go there's so many reports every single day on new ownership what's happening this is happening that's happening and a lot of them conflict each other a lot of them are quite confusing so you know just make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on it and all of that as well i think that the reports will contradict each other you know we're getting reports that the qatar investors are the qsi and then we're getting reports that the qatar investors aren't the qsi we know they're not the qsi because we want the full sale but the reports just coming about is one source as one thing one source as the other nothing's really clear the sources i would look to follow are obviously the athletic they're really really good laurie whitwell the athletic they know their stuff the athletic themselves did say new qatar's emir tanim ban hamad al tani probably said that wrong i apologize for my pronunciation has decided the country should enter the the, the most popular football league in the world and he's worth 335 billion so we do have good sources like the athletic saying you know what they these are interested in united qatar's interested in united they're interested in the full sale so parties are interested parties are interested in the full sale that has been confirmed let's wait and see what happens but the bidding deadline is next week and it's getting exciting people please glazers just leave